Okay, well done you two. This is your second activity for maths for this week and we are starting something new. We are going to think about time. Okay, so on these slides you're going to find activities for activity two and that is time. So just like before, make sure you've got a pencil and some paper and make sure you know how to pause me so that you can come back to me if you need to. Okay, so we have not looked at time yet in year two, but you have looked at time in year one. So this, let me just close that, this um, learning that you're gonna do today follows on from your learning in year one. So do you remember which is the hour hand and which is the minute hand? So have a look at these hands on the clock. So there's two, one of them tells you the minute and one of them tells you the hour. And here we will need some of these math words. Have you heard any of these before? I'm sure you have. O'clock, half past, quarter to, hour hand, quarter past, minute hand, and duration. That's a bit of a funny word. Have a think if you can talk to the person, talk to one of your grown-ups at home and think, or your siblings and think, do you know what the word duration means? It means how long something is going to take you. The duration of this video is probably going to be about 12 minutes. So it means how long something takes. Okay, well done. This is time. So this time is nine o'clock. So here you can see that I have made the time nine o'clock. The minute hand is the long hand. Here it's green, so this is green. Here it points to the 12, which reached o'clock. And here, the hour hand is the short hand. Here it points to the nine, it tells us the hour. So if I read this clock, it says nine o'clock. And here the time is half past 11. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. We're gonna to focus on o'clock and half past. So the minute hand is pointing to the six, which tells me it reads half past. You can see here it's half the clock. Some of you might have spotted that six is half of 12. So it tells me, that this is half past and here you can see that my hour hand has gone past the 11 here because it's nine o'clock my hour hand is on the nine it's pointing directly to the nine but because this has gone past 11 o'clock it's half an hour past 11 o'clock it goes past it slightly okay so this website here is what I was using to make these nice pictures here. So use this website to practice making different o'clock and half past times. You can move the hands on the clock and it will, um, you can make different times. Here you can also see the digital time. So this ties in quite nicely with our work on scales. So here, this one we call this an analog clock. It shows us the scale. You can see here like the little gradients, just like we've been looking at before for temperature and when we've been looking at measuring. And here shows us the digital time. So can you make one o'clock using the hands of the clock? Can you make half past seven? Can you make 10 o'clock? And can you make half past three? You can also make any time you like, but try and make these ones first using your hour hand and your minute hand. Okay, here are your main activities for your time. For time, there are some practical activities and a white row sheet to complete. So you can choose one of them to do, or you can complete as many as you like. So, question one: Practice telling the time with the, with o clock with a clock at home. Take photos at different o clock and half past time. So keep an eye on your clock. You might have one that looks like this, and see if you can check back at o'clock times and half past times and take a photo. There are, attached to the um, activity on Google Classroom, there's a sheet that looks a bit like this and it's got some blank clocks on it. So you could print them off and you can have a go at making your own times. You could also write some of the times in and get your grown-ups, your siblings to draw the time as well. If you don't have a printer, you can draw these clocks on any bit of paper and have a go at making your own times. And here is an activity for you to make your own clock. So you might have a split pin fastener. If you don't, don't worry. You can use a bit of blue tack or anything you've got at home, a bit of string 
to um, make the hands of your clock. You can make, have a go at making them move and that is attached. Okay, I'm gonna pause this video now and open up our slides so that we can go through our white rose sheet. Okay, well done. Okay, so this is your white rose sheet. I'm gonna read the questions so you can listen to me read the questions and then pause it and have a go. Or you can listen to me explain the whole thing and then have a go after that. So whatever you would like to do. Okay, so question one, match the clocks to the times. So here you have got some analog clocks showing you different times. They're all o'clock and half past because that's all we're gonna focus on today. And here you have got the digital, well, you've got the times written down in o'clock and you need to match them up. So have a look at the minute hand. Where is the minute hand pointing to? Is it pointing to the o'clock or is it pointing to half past? And then where is the, the shorter hour hand pointing to? Because that will tell you that hour. Complete the sentence. At o'clock, the minute hand points to, which one does it point to? Does it point to the 12 or does it point to the six? Okay, question two, match the clocks to the times. Here you have got half past time. So we've talked about o'clock being 12 and half past the minute hand points to the six. So then you just need to look at the hour hand. It's a bit trickier when it goes past because the hour hand goes past the time that, it's, that it means. So this one, let's do this one together. This one is half past four because the hour hand has gone past the four. Hasn't gone past the five. So we know that it's half past four. So that one it sometimes gets a little bit tricky. So have a good look, make sure you've looked really carefully. Where has the hour hand gone past? Complete the sentence at half past the minute hand points to what number on the clock? Okay, well done. Question three, write the time shown on each clock, use the word bank to help you. So look at each clock and then somewhere on your sheet or on your piece of paper, you can write down, is it, what is it? What is the time? Is it o'clock or is it a half past time? Question four, draw hands to show the time on each clock. So if you've made a clock, then you could have a go at um, making on your clock. But if you've got a printer and you can print out the different, the sheets attached, the blank ones, you can have a go at showing them on here. Or if you've got, if you're gonna print out this sheet, you could use different colored pencils to show each of those times. Okay, well done. Let me get to the next page, okay. Question three and four are the same on this sheet as the other sheet. So you just need to do question five, decide whether each sentence is true or false. The clock shows six o'clock. So if you think it shows six o'clock, you can write true. Or if you don't think it shows six o'clock, you'd be right, it's false. Have a think about which hands are pointing where. So remember that the shorthand is the hour hand, tells you the hour and the long hand tells you the minute. So there's something wrong with this one. It doesn't show six o'clock. So you can write your answer either on your piece of paper or you can write your answer here. Try to explain how you know, because then that shows me and Mr. Southwaite your understanding of time. So the clock shows half past 10. Does it show half past 10? How do you know? And the clock shows half past 12. Does it show half past 12? How do you know? It says compare your answers with a partner but you might want to get one of your siblings to help you with this and see what they get. Or you might want to ask your grown ups to help you with this and see what answers they have got to. Okay, that's the end of your maths for this week. You do have another ED assignment as well that's about time and you have your times tables to do. And please upload anything you get up to at home or write us a comment. You don't need to upload a picture. You could just leave us a comment to tell us what you have been up to for your maths this week at home. Hope you have fun with time and temperature. Okay, well done.